Tada! So welcome back to my YouTube channel and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about quadratic formula. Okay, for example, so use the quadratic formula to, to solve each equation, okay? I write here the formula or the quadratic formula. So we have neg uh, x equals negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. First, what you're going to do is to know what is a in the equation. First, we have here 2x squared minus 5x plus 2 equal to 0. So, what is a in our equation? Our a is 2. Alright? So, what is b? Our b here is negative 5 and then our c is 2. Now, let's just substitute the value of a, b, and c to the formula. That is very easy. So, again, x equals, so negative of what is b, so that is negative 5. So, parentheses negative 5 because we have different minus sign here and um, negative 5 here. Okay, that's why we put um, parentheses. Next plus minus square root of, okay? So, b squared. So, again, what is b? Negative 5 square minus 4, what is A? A is 2, and then C is also 2. Okay? All over, alright? All over 2, A. So, 2, what is A? Also 2. Alright? Next is to simplify the equation. So, positive, uh, negative times negative is positive 5, plus minus square root of. Alright? So, negative 20, uh, 5 times negative 5 is positive 25 minus right? So, 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Alright? Over 2 times 2 is 4. Next, simplify again. So, x equals 5 positive negative 25 minus 16 is what? So, we have 9. Alright? Over 4. Okay. Is this the final answer? No, not yet. Okay? So, what we're going to do is 2 square first 9. Okay? So, x equals 5 plus minus square root of 9 is 3 over 4. But, this is not the final answer. Why? Because we are in a quadratic equation, so ours, we have two solutions. So, let's have x sub 1 and then x sub 2. Why? Because we have positive and negative sign here. So, we will separate the positive sign and also the negative sign. So, how? 5 plus 3 over 4. Okay? So, what is 5 plus 3? So, we have 8. 8 divided by 4 is... So that is in x sub 1. Next, we have also negative here. Negative sign here. So, 5 minus 3 naman over 4. We have the positive sign and the negative sign. So, what is 5 minus 3? So, we have 2. 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. So, our final answer is x sub 1, we have and then x sub 2, we have 1 half. Okay, for number 2, we have 9x squared minus 12x minus 4 equal to 0. So, again, what is a? A is 9, B is negative 12, and C is 4. Now again, substitute all the value of A, B, C to the formula. Okay, so again, negative X equals negative B. So we have here negative 12, right? 
positive negative square root of b squared. So again, our b is negative 12 square minus 4. Our a is 9. And then c is also 4. Here. All over 2 a is 9. Okay? Next, x equals, simplify, negative times negative is positive, so we have 12, plus minus square root of negative 12 times negative 12 is 100, positive 144, minus 9 times 4 is 36, 36 times 4 is also 144, over, so 9 times 2 is 18. Now, simplify. X equals 12 plus minus 144 minus 144 is 0 over 18. Okay? So, what is our X sub 1? Okay? So, our X sub 1 is 12 plus 0 over 18. Okay? So, what is 12 plus 0. So, 12 plus 0 is 12 over 18. So, let's simplify. So, we can divide it by 6. So, 12 divided by 6 is 2. Then, 18 divided by 6 is 3. So, we have 2 thirds. Now, let's have the minus sign. So, x sub 2 equals 12 minus 0 over 18. So, what is a 12 minus 0. So, 12 minus 0 is 12 over 18. Now, simplify again. So, it will become 2 over 3. So, we have the same answer. Okay? So, we have the two solutions but the same answer. So, our x sub 1 is 2 over 3 and our x sub 2 is also 2 over 3. How about if we have this one, number 3. So, x squared plus 3x plus 6 equal to 0. So, again, find A, B, and C in the equation. So, our A here is 1, B is 3, and then our C is 6. Alright? So, substitute all the values of A, B, C to the formula. So, again, X equals negative B, so negative 3. Since um, our B now is positive, so just, just, just write 3. Okay, so ma plus minus square root of b squared. So our b is 3 squared minus 4, a is 1, and c is 6. Okay, over 2a, so 1. Alright, so simplify, x equals, so negative 3, positive negative square root of 3 times 3, 9. Minus 4 times 1, 4 times 6 is 24. Over 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, next simplify. X equals negative 3 plus minus square root of 24 or 9 minus 24 is negative 15. Okay, so negative 15 over 2. Okay, our answer here is x equals negative 3, positive negative square root of negative 15 over 2. Since our radicand is negative 15, that's why our equation or our solution is undefined. Okay, so we don't have solution in this equation. Yes, students, so if I were you, so my suggestion is to use the quadratic formula if the, you cannot um, factor the equation by extracting the square roots or um, by, by using the completing the square. Because this one, the quadratic formula, is long but surely, okay, answered equation. So for me, the best answer or the best solution for your um, output or activity is to solve it by quadratic formula.